seated for just a moment. <clears throat> we did get a, a letter yesterday from the Smiths, the missionaries to Argentina, and uh, probably pretty much stuck in Texas uh, for a while or for the rest of their life as uh, their health is not well and, uh, and God's taken their, allowed their visas to expire so they can't get them back and different things. But anyway, this is good and I hope you get the understanding uh, of their situation. It's tough for a missionary who doesn't want to retire and doesn't ever plan on retiring. It's kind of like a, a preacher that doesn't plan on retiring, but someday the Lord will take the preacher out of there and someday the uh, missionary will be through <clears throat> and you have to accept that. Uh, so dear friends, what do you do when your world is turned topsy-turvy? Good question, what do you do? Well, turn to the Lord. Joanne and I have been in that position now for a little over three years. You have been alongside praying for us and sacrificing so we could continue to help in the ministry of Buenos Aires and have some semblance of normal where God has planted us. When we came here, we did so because God mandates us to honor our mother and father. To honor Joanne's father meant taking care of him as he began, uh, became totally dependent upon us for his daily care. In doing so, we left a growing ministry of people that we have grown to love. Joanne at this moment is still working on more red tape with the legal stuff on the property that her father had. The best way I know how to express what has been going on in our brains and hearts was captured uh, by Dr. Les um, in his book, The New Normal. Although uh, the front cover displays a traffic sign with a lot of curves, it needs one that shows in those curves that there are a lot of ups and downs also. <laughs> It is an excellent book about depending on the Lord when life changes come unexpectedly. I've not seen that book, so I don't know uh, anything about it. But uh, this letter is very hard to write as I really do not know how to phrase it. I've been asked if I am retired or going to retire. And the only honest answer I can give is that I'm a follower of Christ. So Joanne and I plan to keep following him until he calls us home. We're involved with Iglesia Baptista Libertad through Zoom and a small Spanish-speaking church here in the Valley of Texas where Wednesday night there were three men and seven ladies, as well as a Bible study in the 55 and older closed community where we live and witnessing to both those who speak in Spanish and English as the Holy Spirit opens those doors. I have material on my desk to teach a brother in Christ how to be a discipler so he can have the joy of 2 Timothy 2.2. Are we going back to Buenos Aires? The answer is that it would not be medically advisable for me to return. We are active, but at the same time we are not in the ministry that you all voted on when you took us on for support. That brings me to the main reason for this letter. We marvel how many of you, after a bit more than three years, continue sending financial support. Many of you have heard me state that what we desired most are your prayers and our Lord would take care of the finances. I still claim the promise of Matthew 6, 34, uh, for more than 35 years and still rest upon it. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit, that you strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. We praise God for you and have kept our promise to pray for you as well. We are still in the ministry and would count it a blessing serving you in any way we can. The best advice that I have is just ask the Holy Spirit for direction and let's praise the Lord together for his loving directions. Thank you very much for caring. My, may God richly bless you, Charlie and Joanne Smith. <clears throat> so uh, a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of people will probably uh, say, well, they're through, so scratch them off the missionary list. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we uh, tend to help those people. We've helped them out when they came back from Argentina because of the needs they had and others didn't know about. And the Lord gave us um, opportunity to help them then and over the years. So uh, pray about that and uh, 
he, uh, they pray for us all the time. They pray for our church. I mean, when I talk to him, and, he, and he's a, he'll talk. He likes to talk to people for, uh, about what the Lord's doing. And, and he will call and talk, and he'll say, uh, he'll ask about different ones in the church. How are they doing? How is so-and-so? You know, because when they were here, of course, a lot of you, the ones that were here when they were last here are no longer here. Uh, many have passed be with the Lord, and, uh, but they are aware of churches like ours that uh, love them and that pray for them, and they pray for us. So, okay, well, I just thought maybe you'd like to hear that. I don't know what, uh, what we'll see in the future from them, but the Lord knows, and like he said, I, I like the way he put this letter. It, it's just good. He says, ask the Holy Spirit for direction, and we'll praise the Lord together for what he does. Amen. That's the way it ought to be. Okay, uh, let's uh, thank the Lord again for today and, and see if, uh, uh, let's see, I guess this is a dinner Sunday, so we'll have some things set up back here shortly too. Um, <clears throat> Brother Finch, would you thank the Lord? Amen. Okay, there is a card in back there also. Uh, and uh, uh, for those, if you didn't get the message, that pray for the Cunes in particular, and also the uh, uh, yeah, Ed and Pearl and Madisons, and they have sickness in their home too. So God bless you. Let's get uh, some things set up back there, and we'll let you know. Thank you.